Welcome to River Club Santon and welcome to an 8.9 million rand, five bedroom, five bathroom, luxury mansion, a stone's throw away from Santon City. My name is Chad Riveros and we are bringing you with us as we present Private Properties Home Shopper Show. So coming through your beautiful pastel blue door, you'll find yourself standing in an entryway. Now this entryway gives you direct access to the dining room suite as well as an expansive outdoor area and massive patio. But let's start first where everybody wants to be early in the morning or late at night and that is the kitchen. So right here in the kitchen, I love the positioning of the center island, marble topping, very, very pretty. But this kitchen island has been put off in such a way that you can easily access it, specifically when you're entertaining. We've got stunning down lighting here, love our looks. I'm such a fan of down lighting. Chef's sink right over here. And then of course, your display cabinet. Knowing me and my worrying habit of uh, tucking into people's wine. My alcoholic tendencies would make me put a couple of wines in there. Plenty of undercounter storage and then right over here, more storage and a sliding pocket door leading into a pantry where you can keep all your dry goods. Now, a cool little thing about this whole house is the light switches glow in the dark. They're internally powered. So at night, you can always find your light switches. We'll show you what that looks like right over here. Artisanal gas stove. Looks super pretty. Love the color. Really pops in the room. You can take advantage of that glass roomed extractor. Again, we like that. So people who are interested in cooking, this is for you. Space for your microwave. Space for a double fridge. Right here, we've got three fridges. So either you can put singles in or take out this separating board and put a nice big double fridge in there. Over here, you've got your double sink. Again, sunken in to this marble top so we do like that or at least i like that this is filtered water that comes out here you can see the water filter right there windows that open out into your front garden vegetable gardens growing there off the trellis it's so nice and peaceful yeah this home has definitely got quite a farmhouse vibe country home vibe which i like because you're right in santon so it's nice to have the city there but feel like you're out of the city when you're sitting at home Now behind me, we've got the lounge area. Lounge area has its very own gas stove just below where, you've, where they've mounted their TV as well as plenty of cupboard space over there. And it's arranged in such a way that that can also be a small office or workspace if you'd like it. This lounge area also has direct access to the outside entertainment area and it's a beautiful area. So follow me, let's take a look at that. Let's wrap around into the dining room area and show you what the bar in this house looks like. Now coming out of your lounge area, you can sit down on your patio, breathe in the fresh South African air and listen to the relaxing chimes that are just off to the left there. Does sound very nice and it most certainly is relaxing. We've also got a wood fireplace there, bry area. You can sit down, enjoy, have some fun with friends because this entertainment area, this patio area is absolutely massive and I love big patio areas because you can do things like this. You can set up a sitting area, a reading area, a place to enjoy your coffee, your breakfast or even some dinners. But then if you've got more people over, if you're having more of an actual special occasion, you've got space for an outside dining room area. All of this is lit by down lighting yeah, and it's those, those live wire down lighting where the lights hang from the wires and I always wonder if I touch that if that's going to mess up this hair just a little bit more than it usually is but behind me as you can see massive dining room table also some very very pretty down lights that match with the rest of the decor and it flows indoor outdoor so easily with these tinted stackable aluminum frame doors not wood so you never need to worry about weather issues. So we've covered the lounge area, we've covered the outdoor patio area, stunning garden, massive garden, and we'll show you more of that right now. We've talked about the dining room area. 
But what is chaired from the private property home shop will show if he doesn't show you somewhere where there's alcohol. And I love me bars. Right over here, we've got these wrought iron staircases going down into a sunken wine cellar, keeping your wine at the perfect temperature, allowing you to age that wine and keep it out of prying eyes, generally my prying eyes. And over here, with easy access to your outdoor bar area and your stunning garden with these sliding doors here and this breakfast reading nook. I love these ones that are, there's a term for it that has got it. This right here is your bay window or bump out window seat. So you can sit here, relax, enjoy the sunlight, enjoy the beautiful garden and read a book. Or in my case, maybe enjoy a nice whiskey sour, which you're gonna be preparing on this wooden bar here. Now, there's an interesting story about this bar, is this bar is an old mailing box from a mining town, and you can see all the front bits here, which would open up and the miners would get their mail, and at the back, you can open up this whole section and store wine, and every single slot you see there will fit a wine box. Behind me is where you'd spread out Get all of your mixes. You've got stunning down lighting here. And there's a couple more things I'd like to mention, not only about this bar area, but the downstairs area of the house. One, the bar area's got plenty of space, so you can see there's some couches there. There's some space for you to sit down, relax, and enjoy drinks with friends. You've then got a gas fireplace that you can light up on these cold winter days. It's heating up now, but if it's cold, that's exactly what I'd want to put on. Underfloor heating throughout the bottom of the house, as well as in the main bathroom and bedroom. But that is it for this section of the house. House. I want you to follow me. Let's show you the guest bathroom downstairs. This house also has space, or should I say it's got a double garage, and that double garage door is right outside this bar area. And then we're gonna head upstairs and show you the second level of this three bedroom home. Come on, let's go. Now downstairs, literally underneath the stairs, if you kick Harry Potter out, you'll find your guest bathroom. Now your bathroom has got a floating toilet with its hidden cistern, which is almost usual now for these areas. And then a nice, pretty single bowl, as well as under counter storage, a massive mirror and a cute little window peeking out onto your front garden. And coming out of your bar area, you find the stairs taking you up to the second level. You've got wrought iron balustrade both sides and a cool little inset here of where the door pushes out from the house with some frosted glass windows there letting in a lot of natural light. Beautiful chandelier above us. For a lot of the users that have tuned in a lot of times, this chandelier should look familiar as we saw it at Val de Vie. It just had the glass inset and it was made of wood, but the same style and I love them there. So, this is the second story. Now the second story's got a cool little secret that takes you up to the third story, which we'll show you in a bit. But right over here, we've got one bedroom, an office space over there, and another bedroom behind me. So what I'd like you to do is come cruise on up there, come join me here, and let's take a look at the bedroom locations. So here we are upstairs walking across, and we find ourselves coming through one door. And if you close this door, because the way the house is built, this whole section can be completely self-contained. So we've got a bedroom over here, a bedroom over there, and then another lounge area, access to balconies, and I'll show you exactly how this works because it's really interesting, specifically for parents with kids who want to give them a little bit more privacy, maybe with they're in university, maybe at the end of high school, and maybe you just want them out of your hair. So let's show you what this looks like right over here, first bedroom, come on in. Now, leading into the first bedroom, you'll see the wood flooring provides a great contrast from the tiles throughout the rest of the house. You've got built-in cupboards as well as space for this double bed. And then on the left-hand side here, marble work nook. Again, you've got kids in high school, primary school, going to university. Perfect, self-contained, self-sufficient, with its own entrance. We'll show you that own entrance. Place for them to stay and stay out of your hair. We've got frosting on these windows. Obviously you can remove it. It is not the window itself. And then if you open it up, you get a great view of the downside area. The sounds of the birds chirping. It is a wonderful day. Then ensuite bathroom, you've got a walk-in shower, single vanity as well as your toilet there, all with an easy access. And the room is quite spacious with the down lighting and very well lit. Now, coming out of this room, you'll walk through this door and into this one right here. Ah, my cameraman nearly took a tumble. It is a spacious room, beautiful flooring, 
double bed, so much lighting. You can just see how bright it is here. I love it. But what makes this one really cool is not only that it also has its own ensuite bathroom, single vanity, toilet, as well as walk-in shower, beautifully tiled with a medicine cabinet above that doubles as the mirror, it has access to its own balcony. So this balcony behind me leads off into the lounge area as well. So follow me through it. Let's take a look at the beautiful view and take a look at that lounge area. We've arrived, we're here in the lounge slash living area for the guests or your children. Nicely sized, you've got space here for a dining room table, a really good sized living area as well. And then over here, a kitchen area. So we've got storage cupboards here. Just around the corner, you've got another guest bathroom, but it's just a single toilet with a vanity, space for a fridge over here, over counter storage, under counter storage, stove with an oven, microwave slots, Really quite a spacious kitchen. You've also got your double sink with windows that open up to the front garden. So really, I mean, this is a well-equipped house. This just in its own, uh, in four ways, would probably go for 12,000 rand. So it is really so nice to see that you've got something that's possibly revenue generating built into your house with its own access so it won't disturb your family. And that access you'll find down here. So as you can see, We've got a staircase that goes up to the third floor, which we're going to take you in a moment. Let's just wrap up the second floor because there's a lot more to see. And then you've got the staircase that goes down. So if you follow it all the way down, you will come up to your very own entrance downstairs at the front of the house. The person does not go through the house whatsoever. But over here, you'll find another bedroom. Your own balcony on the left hand side, private balcony is not shared with the one that we just saw. And here is quite a big bedroom in its own right. So many windows, plenty of storage here. Again, a dressing area for you to get ready or you can double that as a work nook and then another ensuite bathroom. And if we look at that bathroom, what we'll see is a single vanity with under counter as well as over counter storage your floating toilet with hidden cistern and a walk-in shower. So again, really well equipped and I love that it can all be blocked off from the rest of the home. Now, after we've shown you this bathroom, as I mentioned, this staircase takes you upstairs and I think we've had a little bit of change of heart. Let's show you upstairs. Let's wrap around the house, come back down to the second floor and we'll end off with the creme de la creme, the master suite of this 8.9 million rent home in River Club. So up the stairs we go. Now walking up those stairs, you'll find floor to ceiling, glass doors leading out onto this stunning third balcony, beautifully decorated with a whole bunch of plants, which we like. We like nature, it's nice. Makes you feel like you're outside even though you're inside. And then take a look at the view behind me. Stunning views like this in River Club come few and far between. This home has got so much potential. And the potential of this balcony is continued through this floor to ceiling glass door again aluminum room as it leads into a loft apartment that runs the length of the home that we've just explored. So come with me, let's take a look at this loft area and then let's journey down into the office and then into the creme de la creme, the master suite. Let's go. Oh, and feeling like Rocky coming up those stairs. Here you are in this loft apartment and this is where I say so much potential can be realized. Really is so much space, there's so many things to do. If you're a photographer, this could be a studio. If you're an artist, this could be where you paint. If you're somebody who needs space for an office, this is exactly where it could be. If you're me, probably be a gym. I need to work on these skinny appendages of mine. Guys, you need to throw me some love in the comments. You know, you need to throw me some support. But how nice, how big. Guys, you can do whatever you want here. Everything's fully insulated. Throw on some, uh, some wood ceiling. I mean, this could be another room could be another two rooms. So I really like that they've got this here. It's something so cool and so different. And if you're worried about lighting in here, one, you've got that beautiful window right over here where the pool table is and this little library area is. But also, let me run over here, make him a photographer go everywhere. You've got these beautiful square inset lights that run along the floor, giving you such an ambiance up here. I think you need to be here to experience it. It really is a cool place to be. I love that this house has got it. Good utilization of space. I'm sure a lot of you will agree. And here we are in the games room slash library. They've got a pool table up here, so you know that it's, 
This is solid. These aren't just some chipboards that they've laid on rafters. You can do some stuff up here, utilize the space, make some money, which we like. But going down these stairs here, you'll find yourself in another bedroom, but right now it has been converted and does make a perfect office space. So follow me down the stairs. Let's take a look at that. So here we are downstairs from the loft area into what I'd like to call a perfectly designed, perfectly placed office area. It's got a toilet right there, no bathroom or shower, but it is right en suite as one would say, as well as a small kitchenette area here, plenty of under counter storage, space for a bar fridge and a sink and behind me another huge balcony. Now this balcony area runs the length of this section right here. Then, the nice thing is because it runs the length, it also runs down. So you've got some stairs that run right down to your front door, which means if you are using this and maybe a portion of the loft as an office, it is also completely separate from the remainder of the house, which is just beautiful. Nobody's being disturbed and your business runs right here. But through that door remains the one last thing we have left, and that is the creme de la creme, the master suite. So what does a master suite look like in here? You're going to find out. Let's go. So yeah, we've just come from the office and we find ourselves in the creme de la creme, the main suite, ensuite bathroom, beautiful head height wall. So you know what? You get to enjoy the view and you get to enjoy the view from the windows. It's not too bad. I love how different it is. I'm actually going to do something slightly different in this. And let's start with the bathroom. Right over here, sitting down is a separate tub completely separate from the rest of this and I love how it's been done. Beautiful marble tiles all the way around, walk-in shower that's massive and you get to look all the way out those windows. And now those windows look out onto a park that is completely private only for the owners of homes in the street. There's one access to the street, boomed off, and you get a key when you purchase the home so you can go into that park whenever you want, completely private. You also have access to the other parks within River Club where you can walk your dog, go for runs and go for cycles, so I love that. Now there's a little nook here where you can keep all of your toiletries built in. Areas there for you to hang your towels. Massive space here with the windows, double vanity, under counter storage, and over here, glass frame leads in to your toilet area, which is floating with a hidden cyst. And now, before we even talk about this bedroom area, let's talk about that walk-in closet right over there. As you go around the corner, you'll find a walk-in closet that leads all the way down like an L shape. And walking down the front half of the L, you can store your clothing left and right. You come to the bottom of the L, perfect place for the shoes. But if you take a quick turn, you'll find a hidden office space there. Plenty of light. You can sit down, do some work without leaving the comfort of your beautiful bedroom. But talking about beautiful bedrooms, take a look at this. Absolutely stunning. I mean, the ceilings are so high. It really does almost invoke a church, but not in the weird way, in the nice way, if you know what I mean. With all the, with all the windows here, circular window letting in so much light. The owner has told me you can lie on the bed and watch the stars go by stunning light there as well that I've just noticed and then not one, not two, but three different doors to lead out onto your own balcony. You can sit down, enjoy your morning coffee. There's space here for you to read in the sun, a little nook there for your books. Access again to another area, coffee cups there, like I said, sitting down here and looking off towards Mechalisuch is absolutely stunning. I love this main bedroom, it's got so much character, so much flair. Beautiful garden down there. Guys, River Club is the place to be. And on that note, we're wrapping up. So come with me as we go upstairs to that balcony and let's say goodbye.
And there we have it folks, we have completely toured this three-story, five-bedroom, five-bathroom, 8.9 million rent home in the heart of River Club, right there by Sandton City. So ladies and gentlemen, if this home is for you, what I'd like you to do is contact Bradley Levin from Levmark Realty. He will schedule a viewing and this could be the next place you sit out in the sun and enjoy your afternoons off. So thank you so much for myself, Chad, everybody at the Home Shopper Show and the team at Private Property. We're gonna see you at the next one, 8 p.m. Mondays and Fridays. We love you, goodbye.